from Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. Montserrat Radio. In the spirit of the war against fake news, Montserrat Radio presents The Fake News Show, conspiracy news and a different point of view of current events. And now your host, Benny Wilson.
Okay, I guess today we did it right. All righty. Welcome to the Fake News Show. It is 10, 19 a.m. Pacific Time, Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Fake News Show. This is an urgent broadcasting. And yes, if you heard me the first time, I was black by the establishment. 100% truth. They just blocked me because they're tracking me. Why are they tracking me? Because they know I know things they don't want you to know. So, um, let's start the right way. Um, let me just tell you what happened before I, I introduce my guest. He's from Germany. Uh, he is in Germany. Uh, before I, 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 I say anything else, let me just... I want to thank first to all the people who are donating me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You know who you are. And I love you. Thank you for donating to my show. Now, second. Um, I woke up this morning. And the first thing that that I got from my Lord, Jesus Christ, says, Tell everybody, be excellent like I am. So I posted the, 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 that. That was my first post. Be excellent as he is. Then uh, I got into my, my postings and I see these people, you know, these social warriors debating about racism in America and all the stuff, which, by the way, they're, they're, their claims are 100% truth, but they don't get the message. So I was trying to respond to them because one guy said, you know, you don't know nothing about racism. I said, okay, let me just think about it. I'm Latino. And I'm how black. Mm, that made me double minority. Mm, maybe you're right. No. I know where racism is. Okay? So, no. Um, you see, this is the thing about social, uh, social warriors. Is that um, they don't use logic. So, God was talking to me and said, tell him this. And actually, this is what I'm going to tell everybody. He said, give me all the reasons to hate. And when you're done with it, give me one reason to love. That's what he says. So, after that, the minute that I finish posting that, here's what my guess is all about. God told me in my ear, he said, are you ready? And I said, my Lord, ready for what? The minute that I say ready for what, this gentleman tests me. And I'm going to name him Benedict. And he's from Germany. So I'm going to allow him to tell, to tell you what he found out about it. He's, from, he's right now in Germany right now. Benedict, are you there? Benedict? Yes, I'm here, Benny. All righty. Um, you're on air right now. And you've been listening by, I believe, last time I checked, it was 17 countries around the world and more than a half a million people. So, well, I've been talking about chaos and panic for the last four years. And I don't really even know why. I think I did it because of, of, a, of a dream that I had. It was really bad. So, you know, from there I was starting going chaos and panic, chaos and panic, like a broken record, and many other things. I've also been saying things are not going to be pretty, and you just said it too, right? <laughs> so. Well, yes. And, uh, and now you came out and, and told me something that you found out about it. Please tell my audience what you found out about it. Well, let me introduce maybe myself first to the people. All right. Um, in the past, I was a very, very wealthy person, and I established many connections worldwide, and I am very well connected as well in our investment country, where everybody who is listening here is most likely uh, an investor, uh, meaning Iraq. And due to 
to circumstances and uh, I want the people straight to know it is something what to me even is unbelievable but logical in the way as the things develop um, I have a lot of friends uh, over there in Iraq especially in the Kurdish region um, and those friends are very well connected to the former president of Iraq, Talabani, and the Talabani family. And well, in the last couple of days uh, where the heat increased in the news regarding Kekut and other places, um, I will call it a secret agenda took place and um, it came to my ears today that basically it points to the following. Iraq will shoot and they will simply shoot out to every nation through their press a message. It will be something maybe not visible for, for everybody, but the people which can read between the lines will realize what it means. Um, they will create chaos and panic, especially for the normal average people which invested in Iraq by buying the Iraqi dinar. And it will be straightforward that they even put out a date, possibly. And it will be mid-2018, which they will name, that if they don't turn the currency on, and they give value back to their currency, they will simply drop it and will create a completely new money. So they will destroy the old Iraqi dinar, which we all own, including me. And this will be the messenger that all people will simply lose the belief in this investment. They want to fool us all, right? But behind the scenes, they are all together and they created this plan which has been scripted years ago. Um, the past has already shown us that other countries could turn back their currency to the value which they remain even now. So why Iraq can't do this with their big oil reserves? And not even that. They have much more. Um, everybody who is listening here, please understand one thing. Do not give up. Okay. Whatever you read, whatever you hear, whoever is telling you to forget about Iraq and about Iraqi dinar, do not, and I repeat myself, do not, please, do not destroy or throw it away. Don't give up. Don't give up because this is what they want. They do not want us all to participate in it. Okay? That's the message I got as well. So, and they themselves say our currency is even less worth than toilet paper currently. Yep. But they know actually that they will be very rich and that they are 
very rich, actually, even if we cannot see it. There was a, and this is something what I would like to point out as well to everybody, there was a meeting between the private and the state-owned banks, uh, which happened on the 18th of October. And it was um, in regards for the achieving growth in context of great challenges, the Iraqi private banking sector. And what I would like to mention to you all what I simply saw. Please go and watch this video. I hope that Benny will post the link on his page. And please start to watch it. And then fast forward it till the minute. Um, it is, I think, 80, 85, 85th minute and 50 seconds and listen to the words which they use and take a close look what happens when they start to speak a closing line. Everybody will receive 60 seconds to talk. You won't even see any Iraqi talking and it will be a black screen. Why? Because they are all in one bed together. So in in Jesus name All right. I truly from the bottom of my heart one second hold on want to tell you all please stay where you are be careful and don't give up on this investment because due to the message I received today, we are close, and God knows, and He is the only one who will provide security, stability, future, and hope to the people. Okay, one second, one second, my brother, one second. I lost I lost the connection if you on the speaker but I will get it back for some reason. Hold on. So basically let me do a little um review what our brother Benedict said. They want to destroy our hope for the RB. They're gonna come out with a new currency and they will not they will, they will not say actually openly, but everybody's going to think it's over. Everybody's going to assume that uh, they're not going to give any honor, any value to the currency that we have. Okay? They're not going to do it. But, this is where prophecy comes. And this is the reason why Benedict called me. Uh, he said, uh, you know, when everybody think that the whole thing just blow up, they will ask, why? Why now? You see, this is the reason why God it is talking to all of us. This is the reason why I've been attacked every single day. Because I'm glorifying His name. A sinner like me is glorifying his name. A sinner like me is listening to our Lord. Yes. And now, chaos and panic is here. Watch how everybody is going to think about that this is not going to happen. Watch. Watch. Even my... Haters, my enemies, will start finding out reasons to hate me and to attack me. And when this happened, guess what's going to happen? My Lord Jesus Christ told me, I'm going to make everybody who hates you 
reflect on you. This is what my Lord said. I'm going to make wonders in the next days. I'm going to prove everybody. I am the one in control of this revaluation. I am the designer. I am the master and the God of gods. Nobody will do this but me and everyone who follows my enemy will not, will not cash. That's what the Lord said. He changed the rules of the exchange. I reported because he told me so. I am the one who changed the rules of the exchange. I am the one who's going to decide who's going to have the money or not. Amen. I'm going to give those the greedy for money exactly what they want I'm gonna make them broke in less than a year I'm going to destroy the greedy and I'm going to save the needy because I'm the Lord of Lords and nobody nobody has the control that I have I am who I am and I will deliver. Those are the words of my Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Amen. So, why would a sinner like me come out with these words? I don't understand. Yesterday I did on my show that uh, God gave me a verse of the Bible it says uh, Luke three fifteen Luke chapter three fifteen and I read it and I couldn't understand what he was trying to tell me and Pastor Stephen called me and he went again and he said this one second hold on let me see if I can find if I can find what he told me this morning. I was like shocked on the floor. Um, let me see if I find it here. Oh, here it is. He said, he says, people are, are in expectation of the RB, but some are wondering if it is real or not. This is the correlation God was trying to show you. Last night, according to that scripture, read it again. John was not Christ. And the elders are not the source. God is the RB. Is real. Yes. But it's God who's going to bring it to pass. That's what God was trying to tell me. And I couldn't understand it. And now. Watch what's going to happen. Watch how every single guru will throw the towels and will lead the same people to return their currency not knowing that they're going to be tricked. Watch how those private groups, one by one, one by one, will turn their back in fear of being wrong and not participate in their fraud. Watch. Watch how these evil, satanic criminals, one by one, will try to understand why the entire empire is collapsing. Watch. God is simply Manifesting in such a way that there will be no doubt that only a Lord God of God has committed the biggest miracle in the history of humanity. I told you without even knowing, 
Something in my heart was telling me these things will pass. I even called Mario and I cried right in front of him. He told me, Benny, I remember a long time ago. I was praying and I told you, look what they're going to do. They're going to change the currency. And they're going to make us all believe that it's over. And I remember that. You see, this is the reason why you need to keep your faith strong. Keep the faith strong. This is the reason why unbelievers, unbelievers will become believers. This is the reason why the unholy will become holy. This is the reason why many of you who have given up will return. God never leave you. You can leave him, but he will never leave you. You can talk crap about him, but he will always have the hope for you. Because he cannot change you on his will. He gives you the most beautiful gift that you have. The free of will. You can either decide to keep hating. Or you can decide right now to keep loving. Give me all your hate. All your social warriors. Give me all your hate and racism. Call me anything you want to. The return of my words will be, I love you in the name of Jesus. And you will be on your knees asking for forgiveness. So help me God. You are the reason why all these people are throwing their currency away. You love this because you enjoy it. Because inside of you, there's only one thing and one thing only, hate. And it will eat you like cancer. And you get cancer because hate, hate in the spirit becomes cancer. You probably are a good person and you got cancer. And you probably say, oh, so are you telling me that I hate and that's why I got cancer? No. I said... That you, you, the one who has cancer, okay, the one who has cancer, I've been giving you, God has been giving you the option to hate or to love. To hate or to love. You see, God is telling me right now that whatever I give the people is for them to change their ways. Whatever I give you is just to change your spirit, to switch your mentality, and look for me. Because all that true is on me. Don't look for men. Don't trust no men. Trust me over all, over everything. Trust me, anybody who bring me, who gives me the Lord and greatness, who glorify my name, he will never be alone again. That's what the Lord is telling me. Be ready. Don't fall for chaos. Don't fall for panic. I don't know if I'm going to do another show. But if I do, I'll let you know. Benny. Yes. I would like to say a few words as well to the community if you don't mind go ahead people I am not any guru I am a normal person like all of you and I do not want to spread chaos and panic I want you all to open your eyes and ears and relax Watch what will happen. Do not fall for what they try. And be ready. Be ready for the coming days. That's all I want to share with you. And in Jesus' name, 
Thank you very much, Benny, for this opportunity. I always enjoy to listen to you, and I make it clear, I only listen to you. Because you brought me closer to my belief, belief in God and belief in Jesus Christ, as a brother in Jesus Christ, as I was before. Thank you very much for that. And we never had the chance to speak before. This is today our first time, and I appreciate this opportunity. Thank you. God bless you, Benny. Thank God, God bless you too, brother. Thank you so much for uh, calling us and uh, give us this intel that you have. Tremendous, tremendous. We're going to see how everything develops. Thank you so much, Benedict. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, that was Benedict from Germany. And uh, we need to be ready, guys. Um, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I don't know when it's going to do. I, I think I probably, what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. Well, I got to, I got to wait for my Lord, what he said. Um, but I think. I think, I'm, yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for him. Something is telling me to wait. So I'm just going to wait. Uh, we have 24 hours to go. Uh, I believe something big is about to happen. Uh, I remember the elite telling me that uh, they have until March or next year to actually make this come truth. If they, be, they, if they actually, and I'm telling you one thing. I told you from the very beginning that the Iraqi the Iraqi government is so corrupt they hate they hate the thought that we all going to become rich because they blame us believe it or not they feel the rich okay because of the United States they feel the rich these people are evil they are Satan a body is evil He's Satan. All the government in Iraq is Satan. They're the baddest, the more filthy people in the world. I told you that. They hate the fact that we are going to become rich. They hate it. They don't like us. If you think that they love us, they do not love us. They hate their own people. The Iraqi people. They hate their own people. This is the reason why they've been milking their way not to RB. Because they even hate the fact that many of their citizens will also become very rich. This is the biggest miracle when God is going to make everything. They're going to really surrender. That's what the prophets said. There will be a big surrender. That's what the prophets said right in the beginning. There will be a big surrender. Who's going to make them surrender? Jesus Christ. Okay? So... Watch how everything develops. Watch. Watch how everything turns around. Watch how the panic and chaos turns around. Watch all these unbelievers. And even the social warriors. They become our believers. Watch. It's not going to be me. I'm just a, another human that will die one day. I ain't no God. I'm a sinner. I'm just telling you who's going to make you believe in him. Because this will be your last chance. Listen to me. This is will be your last chance. I said it. When you all exchange, the only obligation, moral obligation will be 
What have you done for my people? To the poor. To the lonely. Remember the prophecy. Because this is my desire. Says the Lord. And when you are going to face them. He's going to ask you. What have you done with the blessing I give you? This is your last chance. This is how all the humanitarian projects will change the world for the better. Not for an idiot who praises the family of the enemy of God and tells you the all things and all the funds will benefit the humanitarian projects. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar, a liar, a liar. Don't fall for the devil. This is what's going to happen. When I started here, never in my entire life, I thought I was going to end up preaching. Never. Now I'm telling you what's going to happen. Watch. I'm going to be so attacked right now. I don't care. I'm going to tell everyone exactly what my Lord has telling me. Everyone who judges you, I will judge them. Because at the be beginning, when I say all the sin and for all the stones, I will also judge them today. I am that sinner that you don't like. Because you are indoctrinated by a false ideology. You are indoctrinated by a false religion. You are indoctrinated that unless you are or anybody is in your religion is safe. You are wrong. Anybody who says I am the Lord of Lord and your Savior will be safe. Anybody. You are the one who hate me. You cannot, you cannot face the fact because your pride is too big. You're miserable individual. God is talking to your soul and is telling you right now, wake up, wake up. This is about him and him only. Read my lips. My Lord is telling me right now. To everybody. To everybody. To everybody who does not go into their knees. And praise my name. Your wealth will not last. That's what my Lord is telling me. Everybody will hold, will go to their knees and praise my name whenever, ever they are. If you are in the streets, if you are in a party, if you are anywhere, you are will be in your knees and praise my name regardless of what people think about you. And that will be the proof that you are indeed in my sight. That's what my Lord said. I'll leave it up to you. My Lord is saying, anybody who recognizes that I am the one who saved you from poverty, you will be rich until the days of your life. Until the end of your days. That's what my Lord says. You're going to have to be feeding the poor. You're going to be having, you're going to have to change lives once you change. And no, instead of buying your own Lamborghini or anything else, that money will go and very well used by feeding the poor and by helping the lonely. Is your pride being hurt? Yes, I'm going to ask you that. Is your heart is telling you I'm full of crap? I know you're feeling that way, do you? I know you're feeling that way, do you? 
because you cannot get away. You just can't detach from the feeling of having all this money and then go and get prostitutes and go and get all the things that you want to get. Because that's exactly what you love to have, don't you? Greedy. That's what you love, isn't it? You're not going to have it, my friend. I'm sorry. You're not going to have it that way. Because God is in control. Your dreams will go in the drain once you try to do the things that you want to do. That you want to do. Watch. They will go in the drain. Watch. Those those idiots who's gonna be flashing their money away after you exchange. Watch what they're gonna do with them. Watch. Yep, that's judgment day. That is judgment day. All right, my friends, I'm done with this. Tomorrow is going to be a good day. So if I get anything, anything that deserves my attention, I will do a show. It is already almost 11. And so far, I found no, um, well, no significant change in the news. And my Lord is telling me, don't, li don't, oh my goodness. My Lord is telling me right now, don't read the news. So I'm not going to read them. So there you go, guys. Let me go and take a, take a look at the messages because I got a lot of people messaging me right now. All right. So let's see. He is not ashamed of us. Thank God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel, nor my Lord. Good. Those illusions around us get out of the matrix. Exactly. Amen. Have a wisdom. The Bible said a fool in his money is soon parted. But we have wisdom. Amen. And I got my friend here from my brother in Jesus Christ. From also yeah, for Germany. Who just um, is also listening to my show. I thank God all my sisters and brothers. That God has given a vision. Wrote it out. And made it plain. To do the work of the Lord Yeshua. Amen. Thank you Benny. Uh, anchor in love. And compassion for all you provide wealth or love. To focus compassion and loving us will be Christ. I have a peace because the battle is not mine. Ours. The victory has already been won. Amen. The Lord will not leave you ignorant concerning the devices of the enemy. But one But from day one, we were all told never to give your money to no one. Benny, stupidity is on them. Greed will burn your soul. Benny, pe uh, uh, one second. Oops, something happened. Uh, he's, he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, love thou me. Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Love thou me. And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all the things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. Exactly. Um, I want to... Um, oh, let me just finish reading what he said. Grieve will burn your soul. People need to have common sense. You can't take a donkey to water, but can't make him drink. Exactly. So, um, I, right now, let me just, uh, let's try again just his name. Okay. So, basically, guys, um, I have a lot of people. I almost have a half a million people right now on my server. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, Mary Lee say interesting that your guest name is also Ben. Yeah, exactly. And that's he. He chose it. That's not his name. He chose it. Uh, but uh, you know, things are not a coincidence, right? Um, so, and he's also a sinner. Okay, he told me that. I'm also a sinner, just like you. And um, this is what you know. Prophecy said. You know, I couldn't understand it, why they uh, got. Uh, Our prophet, beloved prophet King Clement said, I'm going to make holy the unholy. And I was like, and I, when I saw that, I thought he was talking to me. I really did. 
I'm going to make holy the unholy. And if you see the prophecy, I did not the prophecy, but whatever he said, he said, I, so I'm, I chose a sinner. That's me. I'm the sinner. So I'm chosen a sinner to bring my name, glorify my name over all those who call themselves saviors. Who are the all those who are calling them saviors? The family dragon, the elders, all of them. No, because people are just following them. They glorify them. Oh, oh, oh. Humanitarian projects. Oh, oh, oh. They're falling for the crap. So there you go. So I uh, I want to thank also all the Majesta, all the news that you guys have been sending me. I appreciate them. Some of them, you know, they're really ridiculous, but it's fine. It's totally fine. Um, the good thing about it is that uh, not many people are now sending me stuff from the from the dragon family. I guess because you know that if I find out something that you sending me like that, I will block you. Also, I also want to uh, remind people: if you want to know about me, just just that this is the only thing you need to know. I'm a sinner. Okay, that's all you need to know. Don't try to find out where I live. Don't try to find out where I come from. Don't ask me personal questions because I have never asked you any personal question. The most that I have probably asked, and many of my jets know this, is where you live, meaning the state. Okay? Where you live? Where, what state are you? And I know their name. They know my name. They know I live in Los Angeles. They don't ask me, can I see you in person? Can I video? you? Uh, no. Why? Because the same way I respect your identity, I expect you to respect my identity. If you continue asking me these stupid questions, I'm going to block you, regardless who you are. Oh, and by the way, don't come to me and tell me, I'm sorry, Benny. Somebody grabbed my phone and sent you this picture. They sent me some pornographic picture. I'm going to tell you this straight out. Next time you do that, I'm sorry, Benny, I'm going to block you. Okay? And no, I'm not interested in your pornography. I'm not interested in your porno videos. No, I'm not. Thank you. All right, so... Uh, all right, so basically, guys, uh, this is tremendous. This man has a lot of connections, okay? This man has a lot of connections. I spoke out of the line, and, and I know exactly what he's talking about. Uh, and um, so let's, let's wait. Let's wait how everything develops. Do we still have to wait for 48 hours? Well, according to the... Elite, that's what they told me. It's not something that I made up. They, my enemies are already telling me, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna count you. I'm gonna count, just like last time, because they love to, uh, you know, they love to attack me. That, leave them. Leave them. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay? And those who think that just because you go against my thinking and, and you think I'm, I'm, I'm the only one who thinks I'm right, you're totally wrong. I can tell you right now when I'm wrong. I'm the first one to admit that I was wrong. If I was not the same moron that you're telling me that, oh, you think you know everything, I would have never changed my way about the Zimbabwe. Never. Okay? And right now, guess what? There's nothing for me to believe that the Zimbabwe will revalue. Why? Because what I'm seeing right now in my side, they don't want to talk about the Zimbabwe. The same way they don't want to talk about DRB right now. They're all hiding. Hello? They're all hiding. Why are they hiding? Why are they doing this? They're not calling me back. Why are they having these meetings and not then telling me what they're deciding to do? Pay attention before you start attacking me, moron. Pay attention. I'm not making things up. Why are they hiding? 
answer that question. So, um, the only, right now, the only um, news that are coming out right now uh, is what China is doing. Remember what I told you about China, right? Um, now, the, the, the big story right now is about China. Let me just read this news. Um, it says, it's a huge story. China launching Petro Juan in two months. We are in October, November, December. So what are they trying to do right now? They are trying to get away from the, the petrodollar. Right? They want to raise the value of the, of the oil. Remember what I told you yesterday? What are we waiting for? We're waiting for the oil going, the oil prices going up. That's what we're waiting for. They're going to go up, 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 and down, down, down. And what did he say? He said, Satan is playing Jojo on you. Who's Satan? I told you a long time who's Satan. Saudi Arabia is Satan. Do you think they're our friends? No, they're not. China, right now with this news, is Satan. You really think China loves us? No, they're not. Okay? No, they're not. They're our enemies. Yes, I said it. They are enemies. China, Saudi, Saudi Arabia, they are enemies. What do you think of the prophecy of, of our beloved King Clement says? That he, he said that Saudi Arabia was going to burn, burn, and burn. You don't believe me? Look for it. He said Saudi Arabia is going to burn, burn, and burn. The same thing he told me. I didn't even know it. I didn't even know it when I said Saudi is going to burn, burn, burn. What do you think he's saying that? Because they are the ones who are basically are doing all these terrorist attacks and, you know, sponsoring all these terrorist groups. And no, they're not Jewish. Okay? I got a lot of people who hate the Jews right now. And God is telling me, don't do anything to them. Just let them, let them be. And I say, why? I don't know why. But just let them be. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to let them be. You know, these are the things that, that people need to understand this. They're the, uh, the mentality, the, uh, the intelligence be between God and the humanity is totally different. You don't know the reality. Only God knows the, knows the reality. Only He knows everything. He knows the reality. What's going on? Alright? So, just to let you know what's going to happen. I don't know why He's bringing that out right now. But we'll, we'll find out left, uh, later on. Uh, now let me go and read this. Uh... It says, people think this is done by one person laughable. There's, there's more than meat of eye. There's a lot of variables and many gogs behind a grandfather a clock, a.k.a. GCR. All right, so that's it, guys. So there's nothing more for me to bring up right now. I don't want to also take more time of your time. I enjoy having you listening to my show. Thanks to all of you who have participated by sending me a lot of news. Um, thanks to the people who are donating me. Once again, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, I also want to thank all your prayers. Oh my God. I want to thank you for all your prayers. Thank you so much. And, um, well, it's, it's already 11. By 3 o'clock, something might happen. If something really big happened, with your permission, I'm going to do another show. If something big is about to happen. Because right now, the Spirit is telling me something big is coming. I don't know when, but something big is coming. Thank you so much for your attention. Don't fall for chaos. Don't fall for panic. God bless you all.
Thank you for listening to The Fake News Show with Benny. See you next time for more conspiracy news, current events, and intel from the most controversial show from Montserrat Radio.